Hi, I'm Jack and I like woodworking. And I figure, hey, if I like woodworking so much, I should probably have some kind of table to build said woodworking materials on. So I've called up my dad. We're gonna go to the store, pick up some wood and other materials. And we're gonna use his shop to actually build a uh, nice workbench for my, my garage. So I can just build some stuff here. So anyway, come with me, hope you enjoy it. Here we go. First things first, Jack designs a table in his head and then on a scrap piece of paper while at the store buying materials. Jack uses hand movements to help explain his design. This is a very important step. Follow along closely. All right, so we've got uh, three four by eights, which two of which are gonna be the bottom and the, uh, the base of the actual top. One sanded four by eight, then we got 10 two by fours. We're not sure exactly how many we're gonna need, but we figure that should be enough. And then we've got some wheels, we've got some screws, we should have everything. Let's go home and start building it. Usually you can rent a truck to move large amounts of materials, or you can have a father who works for a car leasing company. Whatever works for you. All right, so we got everything inside my dad's shop, and uh, we're gonna start with the two by fours to make the frame and kind of everything else. We're leaving the, uh, the four by eights in the truck because it's raining outside. So once we get the frames done, we're gonna put it all together and then put the stuff, the two by or the four by eights on top in the, the bottom shelf. Jack and Pat use Pat's existing workbenches to come up with an ideal size for the new one. All right, so we've done some measurements and we figured out the legs on the side of the table need to be about 30 inches tall. So we're cutting eight, two, we're cutting eight 30 inch tall two by four sections to make the sides. Let's go ahead and stress the need for proper safety while using dangerous tools. Basically, don't do anything you see in this video. Seriously. Nothing at all that you see in the video. All right, so now we're taking two of the 30 inch long uh, pole or things we've made and we're actually putting them together in a little L corner to make the legs going up the side. So that's what we're doing right now. We're building these together. together. Jack and Pat attach two two by fours together in an L shape to give the legs a lot of strength. This table needs to hold a lot of weight for future projects. After they get the legs built, they work on figuring out how to get the wheels attached without hindering the structure of the table. All right, so we've encountered some issues trying to figure out how to get the, uh, the wheel to mount properly to the bottom of the leg to get it to sink in where it'll actually hold the weight and everything. Pretty important. We don't want this thing breaking or falling or making it unlevel. So we're trying to work on this stuff. Pat cuts out some plates for the wheels to mount to. This will give the wheels more support to stay upright. All right, so we're cutting two 32 inch long stringer boards that go across the short end of the table. These are the uh, wheels amount as the corners of these guys. The guys mark the location for the bolts on the support piece. From there, they begin making the holes using a drill press. And for the love of God, please do not do this at home. Let me just clamp this on here. How do you feel about the tornado? Excited by the tornado. Here we see Pat finally using a clamp. Trying to find, we're trying to find a, uh, a bit that's big enough to countersink this little top part. So that way we can put stuff on top and it'll be flat. Countersink means we are basically making a hole that this will rest in so that it lays flat. So we can rest flat over the top of it. So countersink makes you make a, you make a hole for the screw to fall into so the top part doesn't poke out. Pat makes the countersink holes with no regards to safety while a storm rages outside. But within the walls of the shop, the wheels get mounted to the support beams and progress continues. So the reason why we have the washers on here is to add more grip. When the nut goes down on the bolt, it'll actually tighten in, but then the washer itself will add more grip to this, the wheel. Of it spreads out. Yeah. yeah, it spreads out the, uh, the, the, grip, the force grip. Now we're going to do the frame. We got the four legs here. So now we're gonna frame it all together. When that's all done, we're gonna flip it and put the wheels we just finished on. Why don't you explain what this is all doing on the floor here? <laughs> that's... Daddy rescued some cats. Dad found some cats in a storm, storm drain. Brought him to his garage, so there's somewhere in here. 
Again, we see Jack using his hands and arms to explain otherwise impossible concepts. Small blocks are used as support for the crossbeams. Speaking of crossbeams, it looks like they're being cut right now. All right, so we've got the legs laid out, and so now we've cut the, uh, the longer pieces. They'll actually frame the whole thing together. But we're worried about uh, if we drill into this thing, it might actually split the wood. So we're gonna drill pilot holes first so the wood won't break when we put uh, screws into it. Pilot holes are smaller guide holes used to avoid splitting wood. Not to be confused with the Shia LaBeouf movie. So it's really important that this is square because if it's not, then the whole table is going to be crooked. So that's why you got to keep an eye on it. All right, so we've done the short ends now, you can see here. Now we just got to do the long ends, and then we have a whole box. We have a frame. It's at this point when we see the projects start to come together. With the longer pieces connecting to the sides, the table takes shape. A square is used to keep the table as even as possible. It's odd that the triangle looking thing is called a square, but it is. All right, so right now we've got it, the whole thing on its side. So right now we're putting on the bottom frame. And when the bottom frame's done, we're gonna put a shelf on top. And then on top is gonna be the actual tabletop. So that's gonna be the actual workman part. Now that the frame is all done, it's time to put the supports with the wheels on the bottom. Here's Pat trying to drill a hole through his hand. They put a lot of screws into the wheel supports so that it is as stable as possible. All the weight from the table will rest on these guys and they don't want the supports to warp. Extra middle support boards are made and attached so that the frame won't bow. All right, so the whole thing's pretty much all framed up now. Now we just gotta put the, uh, the we have three four by eight still on the truck that we gotta go get and cut to size. One's gonna go on the bottom for the lower shelf and one and two are gonna go on top for the upper working space. If stuff wasn't being filmed, it was because of this little monkey. Smelly. So while while Katie was saving the kitten, we put the lower shelf on. So now we're gonna cut the top and then put those on and we're done. I wasn't filming, he says, but I was rescuing a kitten that was trapped for who knows how long and its little eyes were all smooshed and it was like covered in sawdust and I felt really bad and so I abandoned the camera, which is like the most terrible thing to ever do ever, and I rescued the cat. I'm sorry, not. We're measuring, it's actually 36, long, 36 inches long. We're doing 34 and a half because the guard on the saw, which is on the floor, is an inch and a half. So we have to make up for that difference. No, seriously. We had tornado warnings, it was storming outside, we were flooded in the workshop, rather kept in the workshop because of a flood, and I had to save the kitten. And somehow I'm a bad guy. Oh look, they're screwing the particle board to the frame now, while I rescued the kitten. So now we are attaching the particle board top to the actual frame, then we'll put the, the nice wood on top of this and attach that to the particle board. So this is just to give it more stability so it's not bowed or anything and uh, gives you a little bit more power, a little bit more, you know, density. Leave the kitten, they said. And I said, I will not leave the kitten. And I rescued the kitten. All right. What? Well, that's a completed table with the shelf. So uh, yeah, we might put some trim on it, but I think for the most part it's done. So we'll take it back uh, where it's gonna live over at my place and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, so here it is, moved into my house. And uh, yeah, so I've already put some stuff on. I've been working on some things already, but uh, you can see it's nice. We got the uh, lower shelf. I've got my air compressor down there, some tools. And one thing we didn't point out is these wheels, they're actually locking wheels. So you can either turn them on or off if you want them to uh, lock into place. So right now I've got them locked so it doesn't roll away. Anyway, that's it. It uh, turned out really awesome and I plan on making a lot of stuff with it.
All right, so that does it. Uh, we built a table. It's successfully in my garage now. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to start building some more stuff on top of it. But anyway, if you like this, let me know below. Uh, feel free to subscribe and let your friends know about this channel. It's going to be a lot of weird stuff like this, more uh, more Lego stuff. I've got some record things I want to do, some more woodworking stuff, and of course, gaming stuff eventually. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Woodworking! <laughs>